Good evening, Byron. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you doing so far today? I'm so happy today. <laughs> uh huh. Why? Because I got a new opportunity in, in my job. So I'm growing up. Growing up. Oh, <laughs> congratulations for you. So you were promoted? Yeah. <laughs> Before you. Like ascending, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, you yeah, were so promoted. Uh, so it's, it's like, yes, you were uh, like, for ascended or promoted. Yeah, so I'm so happy for that. <laughs> Congratulations. You really deserve it. I guess that as you are really responsible, you're very punctual as you are in classes, I suppose you are the same at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, and that always pays that the effort that and the interest that you put in something, it really pays and works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my partners are so happy for me as well because they they knew that I deserve it. So I'm so happy for being a cent. Okay, so that's nice. And you're working from the site, right? Or you're working from home? From home for now. <laughs> but I think that because of this, I think I'm going to be inside. Oh. <laughs> but I think. Yeah, well, Probably so. And what is the 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 church name that you're going to be developing? Uh, I will be a supervisor. <laughs> oh, yeah, excellent. But yeah. It, it, I don't think that you will be in need of going to the site. Or are there agents yeah. working in the site? Yes, they are uh, some of them. Um, yeah, so that's a possibility. Maybe not every day, but. Maybe you will have yeah. to go from time to time. Yeah, I think that is going to be the, 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 that they are going to tell me because it's, they are going to be for the new team. They are going to be inside. So I think I have to check on them and everything. Yes, and I think that trainings work better if they are in the side and uh, remote trainings is really difficult. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but nice to hear those good news. Uh, I remember that at the beginning of the course, you, you tell us that you wanted to be promoted. Yeah, and I made it. <laughs> and yes, you your wish became true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. And the rest of you, how's your day? How's also. your day far? So, so? Is Great, which was great. I got my uh, driver list, listen license. Driver. Yes. Your driver's license, so important. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Now I, can... I was driving for eight months without license. <laughs> Really? Well, that's yes. dangerous. Now you can uh, drive without worries, right? Yes, I'm no, so happy for it? that. Oh, nice. Nice. Congratulations. Thanks. Um, how was your day, Miss? Awesome, because Outlook went down today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Um, so I was there just on the phone uh just 17 calls i think and oh. uh, then the assignments that we do through the email they they are going to wait <laughs> because the server was down today so i had a very relaxing day <laughs> <laughs> yes that's good so anybody else would like to share something good for the day Today is the last day of classes and good things are happening. That's nice. <laughs> All right. So I guess that everybody or most of you have finished the platform, but there are some people that got like 90% completed or some other people that are having issues with specific exercises. Would you like for us to check any exercise before uh, the review? 
No. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm going to okay. I'm going to share the screen. I see just 10 are here in class. Well, but we cannot continue waiting. We're going to go ahead with the review. All right. So yesterday we were finishing this topic with the short answers to show agreement based on what we were practicing yesterday. Um, let us do this together. Uh, we have uh, four sentences and we have three options on how to respond to those sentences to show agreement. Oh, well, so the first one, it says, I enjoy working in sales. And we have three possible short answers. Well, I can, neither do I, or so do I. What is the correct one here? So do I. So do I, excellent. So it would be, I enjoy working in sales. So do I. The other people answered, yes. Um, number two, I like working the night shift. What would be the, the best? Neither answer? do I. Mm, it's a mm, I guess. I don't. G, I don't. Yes, that would be G. I don't. <laughs> Teacher, yeah. what does G mean? It's like an expression when you say Diablo, you know. Now you know. Oh, really? Jesus. Well, yeah, it's just an expression. Mm -hmm. I have never seen it before. Really? <laughs> yeah. I see that uh, some people say like Jesus, or some people suggest Jesus. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Okay, es como decir uh, caramba o rayos. Uh -huh. <laughs> es, es una expresión que ser, sería similar, similar en español cuando decimos caramba. Yo no, gee, yeah. I don't. No, uh -huh. I don't really like. <laughs> Oh, you, you like working night shift? No, I have never worked at night. That's horrible. That sucks. Really sucks. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, number three, it says, I can't stand getting to work late. Neither can I. Neither can I. Excellent. That will be uh, number four. I'm interested in using my language skills. So am I. So am I. Excellent. Very good. Now, we have this other exercise about completing the sentences with the words and phrases in the books using gerunds. Uh, so we have commute, learn languages, start her own business, use a computer, work under pressure, like the song, under pressure. Okay, but this one is already used. Now work with a theme. Mm, we have to use all of them, but not this one because this one is already used, work under pressure. Uh, any new language here, vocabulary? And commute. Commute is desplazarse. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Uh -huh. So if, for example, if I ask you, how long does it take your commute to work? How long does it take your commute to work? One kilometer. Um, okay. 15 minutes. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. So, puede contestar así. Y a veces le preguntan a uno cuánto tarda su des el desplazarse, el que usted se desplace a tal lugar. Eso es commute. Mm -hmm. And like, I remember when I, I had to commute to work. For me, it, my commute to work took, uh, used to take like, 45 minutes without traffic, yes. 
when, when I when I worked at um, San Salvador. Uh, currently, I live in Oaxaca. My commute was uh, two hours, more than two hours. More than two hours to commute to San Salvador. Yes. Oh, right. So commuting to San Salvador takes two hours from Chalatin. Cabanas? Uh, from... Yes, from Cabanas. Oh, and, I, okay. and I take more than two hours. So the commute from Cabanas to San Salvador is more than two hours. It's a lot of time. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> With traffic, sometimes takes about three hours. Okay, it's on a Fridays, long... uh, I, I leave from San Salvador about four o'clock, and I arrive home about seven. Oh my God! Wow, it's tired. It's tired. Yes. Um. Okay, so that's the new word for today: commute. Now. We have the first one already done. It is number one, right? Teresa uh, enjoys being a journalist. She has to write a new story by 4 p.m. every day, but she doesn't mind working under pressure. If you realize here, the verb goes with ing. Remember that we are uh, using gerunds and after mine, we need to use a gerund. So that's why. Uh, she doesn't mind working under pressure. So let us complete the number three, uh, two, from two to six. Remember that you have to use the words in the box. This one is already used, so we cannot use it anymore. I'll give you some time and then we're going to share the answers. You can just write the answers in your notebook so you don't write the complete thing. Finish the chair. Okay, so uh, would you like to give us the answer or share the answer for number two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, number two, Ichiro is a novelist. He writes all his books by hand because he hates using a computer. Okay, very good, excellent. Jesus, would you like to help us with number three? Yes, when usually work alone all day, but but she enjoys work with she enjoys working with a team too. Okay, excellent. She enjoys working with the team too. Very good, David. Number four, David. Okay, number four. Uh, Ellen works for a large company, but she is interested in start her own business. Uh, in a start? That is good, good, but something is missing. You're starting. missing something. In a starting. 
Excellent. In Sorry. starting. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Byron? Yeah, it's Hi. Carlos has to use Portuguese and Japanese at work, but he's not very good at learning languages. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. And the last one? Can I? Cindy. Yes, uh, Jose? Me. Someone else was reading. I, well, Cindy has to drive to work every day, but she doesn't like commuting. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Now, with this, we finish the review for the short answers and also the practice for germs. Now, another topic that you told me that you would like to practice more or know more about was the first conditional. And uh, remember that the first conditional, it's, um, it used to talk about things that may happen in the future. Uh, and uh, let's see, who wants to read this slide about the first conditional? Volunteer? Hey, teacher. Okay, Stephanie. The first conditional has the present simple. After, if, then, future simple in the other clause. For example, if plus present simple will plus infinity. It's used to talk about things which may happen in the future. Of course, we can know what will happen in the future but this describes possibility things which could easily come through. If I rain, if it rains, I want to go to the park. If I study today, I'll go to the park tonight. If I have enough money, I'll buy some new shoes. Chill be late if the train is delayed. She'll miss the bus if she doesn't leave some. If I see her, or I'll tell her. Okay, thank you so much, Stephanie. Um, questions here? Ok, remember that the first conditional, estamos diciendo que la, la, la condicional esta es para hablar cosas que podrían suceder en el futuro. Y se componen de dos cláusulas. Eh, una cláusula es una oración. Para verlo más simple, no complicarse. A clause is a sentence. Es una oración. Eh, se habla de... También decíamos de dependientes e independientes, ¿recuerdan? Creo que sí. Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Bueno, la dependiente es la que va, es la que se llama if clause. ¿Por qué? Porque ella depende de otra para tener un significado. Si yo digo if it rains, If it rains, ¿qué? Necesito otra oración que complete esta idea. Porque no solo puedo decir if it rains, porque no estoy diciendo nada. Si llueve, si llueve, ¿qué? Entonces, por eso se llama dependent clause. Siempre que escuchen decir dependent clause, es porque es una oración que no tiene significado por ella sola, por sí misma. Entonces, ella necesita otra para te, eh, eh, tener un significado, para que la idea de lo que se quiere comunicar esté completa. Aquí dice, if it rains, y la otra es la, la de la consecuencia, ¿verdad? ¿Qué va a pasar? I won't go to the park. Esa se llama independent clause. Esa es independiente. Yo puedo decir, I won't go to the park. Y es una oración completa. Tiene significado, tiene sentido decir, no iré al parque. 
I won't go to the park. Por eso se llama independiente. Yo simplemente puedo decir, I won't go to the park, and that's fine. Pero, ajá, hay cuestión, hay preguntas hasta aquí. Vamos clear. Ok, very good. Eh, otra cosa que mencionamos cuando tocamos este tema es que ellas pueden cambiar de orden. Cuando la if clause, la cláusula in, eh, dependiente, la que lleva el if, va al principio, if it rains, entonces usamos coma. If it rains, coma, I won't go to the park. Puedo cambiarles eh, orden y decir primero la independiente y luego la dependiente. Y en ese caso, ¿qué pasaría con la puntuación? Ya no uso coma. So I say, I won't go to the park if it rains. That's okay. Eh, otra cosa que se menciona es que en, la, en esta, en la que es la dependiente, va el if, luego el sujeto, como dice aquí, y el presente simple. Aquí estamos conjugando el verbo en tercera persona, if it rains, ok. Eh, en la cláusula eh, independiente vamos a usar el will y si es negativo, won't. Okay? Para hacer una cláusula negativa será won't, afirmativo, will. Y el verbo no se va a conjugar. Se deja en forma infinitiva. Aquí dice infinitive. Un ejemplo bien claro está acá. She'll be late. Ok, ahí está el verbo be tal cual, no se ha conjugado into am, um, is o are, sino que se deja así, eh, sin conjugar. La forma infinitiva de él es be. Y a la otra ya conjugado into present simple. Eh, questions so far? No questions? No. Ok. Very good. So we are going to move to the next slide. And this is a uh, volunteer to read this one. No volunteers? Okay, Byron, thank you. First conditional. The first conditional also called conditional type one. It's an instructor used for talking about possibilities in the present or in the future. A first conditional sentence consists of two clauses and an if clause and a main clause. If the if clause comes first, a comma is usually used. If the if clause comes second, there is no need for a comma. If clause, if you study hard, comma, the main clause, you will pass the test. Main clause, you will pass the, the test if you study hard. Excellent. Thank you so much, Byron. So, esto es básicamente lo que les estaba explicando acerca de la puntuación, ¿verdad? Si ven acá, if clause, al principio, if you study hard, comma. Y luego la main clause o la independent. Y si la independiente o principal va al principio, no se usa coma. Estamos viendo la misma oración en diferente orden y siguiendo las reglas de puntuación con las first conditional. Esas también se llaman conditional type one. Existe la cero, esta es la uno, la dos y la tres, pero van en diferentes tiempos. Este específico, la que estudiamos ahora, es para hablar sobre posibilidades o cosas que pudieran suceder en el presente o en el futuro. Now, uh, time to practice. Complete the sentence below by making first conditional statements and use your imagination. If I don't arrive on time, our teacher will be angry. Number two, I will yes. watch TV if I have time. So, ahí tienen que ver, vaya, la 1, ya tengo la conditional clause. So, necesito la 
a main clause. Entonces escribo una main clause. Y es a su, ese es libre, ¿verdad? Pueden escribir eh, lo que se les ocurra, ¿verdad? Usando su creatividad. Aquí, en las dos que tengo, I will watch TV, ¿ok? Tengo la main clause. Entonces necesito la if. If I have time. Now, if he gets up at five o'clock, Necesito la main clause here. ¿Qué va a pasar if he gets up at five o'clock? Y ahí ustedes ponen lo, lo que se les um, ocurra utilizando ya sea una main clause o a if clause, lo que le falte ahí para completar. So I'll give you time for you to complete those sentences in your notebook. You can do it there. And then we're going to share. Questions?
finished? Are you need more time? Yes. Okay. I think it's going to rain here. See, have you finished? Just well for now. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. What do you have in number three? For number three, if he gets up at five o'clock, he will be on time at the school. Okay, excellent. Uh, any volunteer for number four? Me. Thank you, Andrea. We will be hungry uh, if we will, if we don't, if, I perdón, <laughs> if we not, if we do not eat much. If we don't eat much. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, I volunteer for number five. 
It the means the thing. Okay. Number four. Ooh, five. Five, please. Five. Okay. If the phone rings, I will be waiting to answer. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Number six, volunteer? Me. Me. Okay, thank you. I will lost if I travel around the world. Okay. I will laugh. I will laugh if I travel around the world. Okay, very nice. Good sentence. Uh, number seven, volunteer. Jesus, thank you. Okay, sorry. And then Henry. Okay, Jesus. Okay. Number seven and Henry, number eight. If our okay. son is isn't tomorrow, I I will sleep peaceful tonight. Yeah, <laughs> good one. Okay, Henry. Eh, eh, vamos a ver. They won't buy a new car. Eh, because it's correct. Um. Eh, or if. If uh, or you have mm. something different in number seven, tenía algo diferente en la siete, puede decirnos la siete. No, I uh, este uh, if I were some I will go to the cinema <laughs> in the seventh. Ah, I will so go, if some for example, isn't tomorrow, I will go, I will I will go, to, go the to the cinema. Very good, nice. Yes, and it's Wednesday. Oh, there are some promotions and some offers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I volunteer for number eight. Me. Okay. Number eight. Okay, they won't, buy a, they won't buy a new car if they don't save money. Excellent. Very good job. Uh, let's see number nine. Adelante. Allá la llevo aquí. Como no. Okay, Jesus is here. If you hit me, I will kiss with, my, with your mom. <laughs> I will kiss you with your mom. Okay, very good. That's nice. Thank you so much. Uh, number 10, I'll give you $10. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll give you $10. If you do my homework. If you do my homework. I got the same. Both has the same, great. That was me to be honest. Yeah, that was funny. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see number 11. If it doesn't take a bus. Uh, if he doesn't take a bus, he, he will be late uh, at, the, uh, at the work. Uh-huh. Very good. Excellent. Now number 12. The glass will break. If you drop it. If you drop it, yes. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, number 13. If I don't watch that movie. I'll be very upset. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, 14. My boss will get angry. If I, I, I don't get him the report. If I don't send him the report. <laughs> awesome. Uh, if the weather is nice tomorrow. We can I go will out. be to the beach. We will go out. I'll, I'll go to the beach. Okay. Very good. Nice job. Uh, now. 
the next exercise is a speaking practice. Now you develop the writing practice. And this one you will have to um, speak about this. So uh, there are a lot of questions here that we can practice. Uh, let's see, first one. What would you do if you can't sleep tonight? Hmm. What will you do if you can't sleep tonight? So you say, if I can't sleep tonight, I will drink a uh, siete azares tea. <laughs> For example, so, y tienen que decir una oración completa usando una if clause y la independent clause to answer to those questions. Mm -hmm. Questions? No. Okay, so you will ask and answer these questions in groups. And remember to take turns and practice speaking, put into practice the structure for the first conditionals as we have been practicing. So, and you have it this in the material that I sent on Monday. So, good to go. Teacher, I have a question. It's not for the sentence. It's a question for the course. Uh, the course finished today. In yes. tomorrow? Today. Because it's my first month in, the, in this school. Mm -hmm. That's finished today. Ahora termina. Es la última clase. ¿Y cómo hacemos para saber cuándo eh, continuamos? Les mandan una confirmación, les mandan en ambos, le mandan por email y se los mandan por WhatsApp también. Uh -huh. Más o menos cuánto tiempo sería el, el, el break que, que se da para que inicie la otra. Fíjese que es bien variado. A veces dura nada más dos días, tres días, una semana, dos. Y bueno, este último curso que tuve duró un mes y una semana sin clases. Porque eh, se espera a que todos tengan la documentación. Eh, y tiene que ver también, hay un mínimo para inscribir y para poder abrir el curso. Hay un mínimo de participantes. Entonces, mientras ese mínimo no se cubra, los cursos no pueden abrir. Por eso es que varían las fechas. Gracias. Sí, no, no, no les podríamos dar una fecha exacta, solo que estén pendientes. Normalmente no duran más de dos semanas los, los, los breaks, pero sí, este último duró bastante. I don't know why, pero fue inusual. Lo usual son dos semanas máximo. Perfecto, gracias. Ok, sí tienen que estar al día con todo. Importantísimo que la plataforma ya esté completa. Si no la tienen completa... No los van a dejar inscribir. Al 80% es la nota mínima. Recuerden descargar su certificado. No sé si ya todos pudieron, espero que sí. Y este, ajá, mandar los papeles a tiempo, ¿verdad? Estar pendiente de esa fecha. Y si usted metió todos los papeles a tiempo y tiene eh, el mínimo requerido en la plataforma para pasar al siguiente curso, pues estarían avisándole. Eh, y les avisan con tiempo, les avisan por lo menos unos dos, tres días antes, a veces les avisan dos o tres días antes de que el curso comience. Is there any other question? Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, if there are no more questions, I'm going to open the room so you can practice speaking with the questions I gave you.
Teacher. Yes. Tengo una pregunta. Sí. Tenemos ya el certificado y ya hemos mandado todos los documentos. Solo nos resta esperar que nos digan que estamos. That is correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Ya solo nos queda esperar. Eh, porque sí, me dijeron. Eh, me dijeron que iban a hacer una pausa de dos semanas aproximadamente. Eso sí me, me adelantaron. Así que sí, estés en pendiente y si en dos semanas no han recibido información alguna, pueden preguntar también. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, so, any other question? Uh, this is it for today. I see that you finished this practice. Solo nos faltó una más que era como un test para ver cómo andamos con estas conditionals. Pueden tratar de resolverlo. Y les puedo mandar las respuestas mañana <ríe> para okay. que chequen a ver qué tal les fue. Entonces pueden intentar hacer el test y luego les mando las respuestas para que vean eh, cómo okay. andamos. Y... Yes, teacher. Okay. I just want to say that thanks, teacher, for your, your help. Thank you. Yes, thank you for being nice so... to... Awesome. Thanks. It was a pleasure to have you here too. Eh, un placer y pues sigan adelante. Ya les falta poquito. Ya van súper avanzados. So continue there. So y traten de no perder clases. Aunque a veces dicen, ay, pero ya tengo el certificado. Pero estoy segura que todos los días aprenden, aunque sea una palabrita nueva, algo yes. de práctica. Yes. Yes. Y yes. todo eso suma. Así es que los felicito porque los que están aquí fueron muy constantes, muy puntuales y al final eso es lo que les ayuda. Entre más práctica es mejor y pues adelante. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, okay, so It Thanks was a pleasure. Thanks, teacher. Good Thanks to you. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.